All right, guys, today I thought I would do a fun video talking about what kind of knife collector are you? Now, of course, this is a video that I'm definitely encouraging you guys to leave feedback on. Definitely let me know what your knife collection, you know, what type of collector you are. And I thought it would also be a fun video to go over as in kind of going over like the kinds of knives that I like to collect or at least my collecting style and this is something that as i've collected knives more and more for a few years now um, i definitely have like a style and i've noticed other people tend to as well and what i mean by this is i don't think there's any broad or any like exact definitions it's probably more of like a broad styling but i've kind of categorized myself as a like one of everything styled collector and what i mean by that is that if you look at my knife collection you will see like a, a kind of one of everything as in you'll see things like bala songs you'll see you know all kinds of things automatics otfs um you know damascus steel blades um just tons of different things and so i thought i'd go over kind of you know like what that kind of means and just yeah i thought it'd be a fun video so yeah definitely my collecting style for um those who don't know and who don't watch the channel definitely i feel myself leaning towards this one of everything and what i mean by this is just broadly speaking i really like having one of like every kind of knife out there once again you know i have gravity knives you guys saw me playing with the balisong earlier i have otf but I even go after things that are a little bit more obscure, things like this Phoenix um, by Paragon or Asheville Steel. And once again, this is still technically a gravity knife, similar, legally speaking, to the Balasong. But, you know, it's different in its own way. And I think that that makes it really cool. It's not necessarily that it uses any kind of crazy steel or any crazy, you know, um, type of blade shape it is fairly regular though it is double-edged but you know it's a very interesting action very interesting locking mechanism once again you know double action otfs are very similar you know they're very unique very interesting and of course i have more than just this uh, heretic manacore x but this is a really good representation of you know an otf i have things like you know push button autos like this uh, protect strider sng and i have other switch blades as well but i think this is a really cool um you know push button auto i have of course my auto adamas um then of course like i said i like collecting you know like one of every kind of steel for instance so when magna cut first came out of course i now have a few few knives in magna cut but i believe i'm trying to remember um, which one was my first magna cut blade i want to say it was this one but i could be wrong i'm trying to remember which all knives have magna cut in them but this one definitely has it of course i have my american blade works uh, model one that has magna cut and then gosh i feel like oh yeah the deca the deca was the first one that had magna cut for me so that was another reason why i wanted to add the deca to the list um but you know like i've been kind of holding the spartan harzy folder this uses chad nichols um damascus and so chad nichols is of course a very renowned person for making damascus steels and so this i mean there are different types of damascus out there if if you're in the knife world you definitely know so not all damascuses are made equal but something like chad nichols damascus is made uh, out of high quality like steels that go into it and of course there are things like dama steel that are you know using things like 154 cm basically and uh you know making damascus with that so there are other you know high quality um damascus like or damascus steels out there but this is one that i wanted to add to the collection specifically because of that damascus steel uh, so i like collecting like one of every action or every kind of definition once again another good point to this is something like this zero uh 450 by zt and you know it's a flipper it's a really good flipper knife and i have a few of course flippers out there um but you know i like having like one of every action or lock style this is a frame lock of course i have plenty of access locks in the collection and of course you know things like liner locks out there um you know i i just really like collecting a one of every kind and so that's kind of what i try to say is like a carte blanche because you know i go after a lot of you know like i want one of many different types of brands maybe not every knife brand but i have a lot of different knife brands in here and some of them you know i just have one knife from things like um mcnees you know i just have the mac 2 i just have the hope deca um you know so i i like going after a lot of 
brands because I'd like to be able to see, you know, what is the manufacturing quality of say TRM, right? Is this a good brand for us, you guys to buy? And so that's why I like to kind of chase these one of every type of things so that I can give good feedback on things like steel and steel performance, things like brands and brand quality, things like, you know, different actions or locking styles. So I can give feedback on like, is an OTF practical to carry? Is a Bala song practical to carry? Because some of it is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Some things are like, obviously a Bala song is not the most practical EDC knife to carry, right? Or maybe you might think, you know, a um, liner lock is a pretty practical knife to EDC. Obviously there are things that are less um, straightforward things like shark locks, for instance, from, you know, Demco knives is another, you know, really interesting thing because I actually find the shark lock to be pretty darn good, you know, for ADC. And I think most people do, but once again, it's not necessarily an intuitive answer because the shark lock is so new. So, you know, there is that, but it's also nice to have it here as a representation to compare and contrast because some people might think that this little fin in the back here is uncomfortable and in certain grips, it certainly is. So it's nice to be able to have this feedback to be able to give to my community of people who watch the channel and who, you know, are reasonably regular. So I would say like, as far as my collecting style goes, I'm definitely like a one of everything. I like, you know, collecting things from different countries of origin. I like obviously collecting different blade styles, blade shapes, blade steels. And so I, I will say there are definitely knife collectors out there that are, you know, heavily preferential to maybe one brand or one particular style of knife or they like just having, you know, like larger blades, or they just like having smaller blades, or they like chasing certain types of materials. But I definitely find that for me, and I think especially for my channel, that I like being able to have a lot of different data points so that I can tell you, you know, like, oh, I EDC'd, you know, on Balasong for a week, and this is what it was like. It was pretty terrible or whatever, you know. Uh, being able to have all these data points, I think definitely helps me be able to, you know, give you the most educated, um, maybe opinions um, on different types of like EDC, uh, different types of EDC kind of realities. Uh, so yeah, that is definitely um, what, how I'd categorize myself as a knife collector and you know, the different styles and blades and types of things I go after. I really don't have a strict heavy preference. Um, you know, there are things that I like, of course, and you will see like throughout the channel, you know, there are things that I tend to lean towards, uh, blade styles, blade shapes, handle materials, stuff like that, um, that I lean towards. But at the same time too, I'm pretty open to collecting things because I like to have a good amount of data points to bring to bear. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.